Hey guys, it's Bodhi with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install CyberGhost VPN on any Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. CyberGhost is another popular VPN, and guys, after the installation, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks with the settings, the servers, and any, everything else that goes into setting up a VPN. Make sure you stick around as well, as I'm going to show you my favorite VPN alternative to CyberGhost as well. So now let's head over to the installation process. All right, guys, so the first step to installing CyberGhost VPN on my Amazon Fire Stick is I need to install the application from the Amazon App Store. So to do that, from the home screen of my Fire Stick, I'm gonna hover over Find, and then I'm going to click Search. And now I'm going to search for CyberGhost. So once I start searching for CyberGhost, it'll likely appear down here as it does right here. So go ahead and click CyberGhost VPN and you'll scroll through here, you should be able to find CyberGhost. Go ahead and click CyberGhost. And once I click CyberGhost, you're gonna have to wait a few seconds while you're redirected to the download page. Go ahead and click Download. And then just wait a few seconds while CyberGhost VPN is downloading on your Amazon Fire Stick. All right, so after CyberGhost has installed, I'm gonna hit the home button on my remote and I'm gonna scroll over and hit this apps icon list towards the front of my apps list here, right next to the settings icon. I'm gonna go ahead and click this button here. This is gonna bring you to the apps and channels list. So as I scroll down, I see CyberGhost VPN right here. So now I'm gonna hit the options button on my remote and I'm going to click move to front. That way CyberGhost is towards the front of my apps and channels list. Now I'm gonna hit the home button on my remote and CyberGhost is right here. So now I'm gonna click the CyberGhost application to launch it and you'll see it launches and you're gonna to have to go through this welcome screen where it says your privacy is our goal. Go ahead and click agree and continue and then it's going to prompt you to validate your login. So here I can log in as I have a paid account for the purposes of this video within my CyberGhost account portal on a different device. You can also do a regular login if you want, but guys, I'm gonna go ahead and log in and I'm gonna fast forward after I'm logged in to CyberGhost. All right, so after I've validated my pin on my CyberGhost account, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK when you get this message. And then like any VPN, you're gonna get a connection request. So go ahead and click OK once you get a connection request message. And now I'm going to wait a few seconds while CyberGhost is booting up. And here I am on the main screen of CyberGhost VPN on my Amazon Fire Stick. Now, one thing I like right away is there's this big power button and you'll see the same thing with ExpressVPN and a few others VPNs that I've reviewed. And all you have to do is just click this power button here so you are easily connected with Without worries. And right here, it automatically connected to a Chicago server within the United States. I now have my anonymous IP address below. And it also shows some speeds below, which I like about CyberGhost. Is it, give you, it gives you some quick statistics of your current VPN status. So you'll see here I am on the WireGuard protocol. It's showing me how long I've been connected. And I believe these are my download speeds right here. Uh, 42 KB and 38 KB up. So if I click settings on CyberGhost VPN, there, it is a pretty sophisticated application. Now this is good and bad here. As I'm scrolling through the general settings, you can scroll down and see all these different things here. We have you know terms and conditions, uh, use domain fronting, anonymous statistics. Um, and if I scroll over to VPN, there's a dedicated IP. You can change VPN protocols. You'll see here it has WireGuard and OpenVPN. I do like that CyberGhost has the WireGuard protocol, which is good to see. Uh, they do have a content blocker, which is good. Um, I do prefer Surfshark VPN's CleanWeb over this content blocker and all these other VPNs that offer this. Uh, and I'll explain that in a little bit. They have app split tunneling. Um, and if I scroll over Wi-Fi, they have what's called a Wi-Fi protection feature. But guys, it does have, you know, most of the bells and whistles that you would need for a basic VPN connection. Now, one last thing I want to do is I want to show you how to test the VPN is actually working. So to do that, I'm going to make sure CyberGhost VPN is connected. I'm going to launch the Silk browser on my Amazon Fire Stick. And what I'm going to do, and I already have it saved here, is I'm gonna to go to DNS leak tests. And if I hit refresh, 
you will now see that this is an anonymous IP address from Chicago. I am not located in Chicago. My residence is somewhat nearby Chicago, but I do know based on this result that my CyberGhost VPN connection is now working. So while CyberGhost is a pretty good VPN, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect here as I go to the main screen. And this, again, just to disconnect, you have to hit this big power button. So pretty good there. Um, I do prefer Surfshark VPN. Now I do have a special discount link for Surfshark VPN below this video that does get you the best discount of up to 80 to 85% off plus four free months or whatever the current special is at the time that you're watching this video. So I do have a great discount for Surfshark VPN that does help support myself and this channel. Now guys, why do I support Surfshark VPN? I'm not gonna get into all the details in this video as I'll make a separate video for that. Um, but not only is the Fire Stick application more efficient in my opinion, uh, Surfshark VPN also tends to be faster. And I did, I have a whole video testing all the popular VPN speeds and you can take a look at that in the description below. Surfshark offers clean web, which I really like. They also offer a working kill switch on the Fire Stick application. CyberGhost VPN did not do that. So I really like the kill switch. And guys, I also like the WireGuard protocol. Again, CyberCoast does offer the WireGuard protocol, um, but it's also not as fast as Surfsharks. And they do offer IKE v2 as well. CyberGhost does not. Um, but that's it, guys. That is how you install CyberGhost VPN on any Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Again, this is Bodie with IPTV Wire. Appreciate you all watching this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment below. Hope this tutorial helped you out. And guys, I look forward to creating more content like this in the near future.